Welcome along to your Friday fans on your weekend's football fest starts right here, doesn't it? Clinton Morrison, as always, I'm joined by you. Ready for the next hour? Of course I'm ready. Stood I'm up. born ready. Stood up, yeah, born we're standing ready. up today, so yeah, it's going to be a good, good show. Some good fixtures this weekend as well? Yeah, brilliant fixtures. I'm looking forward to this weekend. It should be really good. Yes, so am um, I. As always, we want you guys to get in touch. club. going to get on this weekend. Shall we remind ourselves of the fixtures for match week nine? It all kicks off tonight at the Emirates with Aston Villa visiting <laughs> Arsenal. You've got six games on Saturday, don't you? Chelsea Norwich kicking that one off. And Brighton Man City is going to be an interesting That'd one. Be a good game. That'd a late be a really game. Good game. Um, then, of course, Brentford Leicester at London Derby, West Ham against Spurs, and of course, it all ends at Old Trafford for the big one <laughs> Liverpool against Manchester United. And of course, that is the place we have to start. It's Ole Gunnar Solskjaer versus Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool against Manchester United. United with a big pain. United are faltering. <laughs> Liverpool are flying. But when this man is around, form counts for nothing. Can CR7 knock Liverpool off their perch? Or will the Reds keep the heat on Solskjaer? This is Manchester United versus Liverpool. Oh, I am looking forward to this one. We're hoping for a classic, aren't we? And when we look at their head-to-head, -head, it's actually... So these are, this is games at Old Trafford. Yep. Man United actually have the edge, but I think in more recent times, it's been Liverpool, Liverpool yeah. lead the way. Yeah, definitely. Are you surprised by that? But obviously Man United... No, I'm not surprised, to be fair, because no. I think Jurgen Klopp's done a fantastic job, to be fair, and Man United, oh, of recent, haven't really been the Man United that you expect from years gone by. So it will be an interesting game, you know? Obviously, Oli's under a bit of pressure. I know they got the win in midweek again. At, mm -hmm. um, Atalanta not playing their best football but obviously the main man scores the winner but I think Liverpool have been in superb form so far they have and, and Jurgen Klopp's record at Old Trafford is interesting as a Liverpool manager he's gone there five times only won once mm -hmm. and it's not it's not a bad record they've drawn three of those and only lost one but Liverpool under Jurgen Klopp don't tend to go to Old Trafford and win yeah it's a strange one I would never have thought that to be fair you would have thought maybe with the way Liverpool play attacking and on the front foot they would go to Man United and cause problems but I think on the Sunday it's going to be a totally different game they've got all their attacking players are in great form Liverpool are a good team at the moment and Man United are struggling I don't think Oli knows his best 11 at this precise moment. I don't think so, but one thing that goes in Man United's favour, form does tend to go out the window yes, in these sorts of games. Yeah, definitely. This is the game where you look, when the fixtures are drawn out, this is the game you look forward to. I think this is the biggest game of the season, so I think it's going to be a hell of a game on the weekend. Yeah, definitely. And we want you guys to get in touch as well. Who is going to come out on top? Manchester <laughs> United against Liverpool. Get your answers in using the hashtag PLFans. Right, shall we head to our first Skyper then? George joins us. He's a Manchester United fan from Uganda. He is coming. George, welcome <laughs> to Fan Zone today. A Manchester United fan, you're hosting Liverpool at Old Trafford. How are you feeling ahead of this one? Yeah, obviously, Liverpool, one of the, arguably the biggest uh, match, Premier League match of the season, I have to say. Uh, two <laughs> big Premier League teams going to clash on Sunday. But uh, I really feel... It's not going to be an easy one, but uh, I feel United is going to win this one. Uh, I reckon 2-1, two, 2-1 one, two, one United at Old Trafford. Obviously, that win against Atlanta coming back from behind, that uh, last stunner of a header from Cristiano Ronaldo uh, was a big <coughs> confidence boost going, going into this Liverpool game. And I have a feeling we, 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 are, we, we, sh, we, sh, we shall regroup and recalibrate and probably try and get a result against Liverpool. Liverpool are uh, a very phenomenal team, uh, arguably one of the best teams right now in the Premier League. And uh, we have to look at people like Salah, is going to be a very, very, very big threat for us. Uh, some people argue he's one of the best players in the world right now, I have to say. But um, obviously, Luke Shaw has to be a lot uh, down that left side. And obviously, apart from providing that... Uh, Attacking threat, he also has to be alert and alert on the back foot and defend so well. Yeah. But uh, obviously, we shall try to stretch uh, Liverpool down the down 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 the left side uh, with Marcus Rashford. Yeah. Yeah. George, I just want to try and, and try and pull Trent Alexander-Arnold out of position and probably 
try and get some goals. Yeah, I think that's going to be an interesting battle, isn't it? Uh, Marcus Rashford or whoever <laughs> plays down Man United's left and Trent Alexander-Arnold. You mentioned there the, the win over at Atalanta, Cristiano Ronaldo, who else? But do you think that first half mm. was, was symbolic of how maybe Manchester United have been playing recently? Because it was a pretty poor first half performance, 2-0 down. And when we look at Manchester United's last few results, They've been, they've been uh, fairly like the first half rather than the second half, haven't they? You can see them on the screen now, you know, beating Atalanta and, and Villarreal, but actually in the league, there's no win since West Ham uh, in September. Yeah, it's, it's really been awful the way that first half went against Atlanta. I have to say, uh, it was really good. I don't know what Ole told the boys. Say we have to regroup and we have to go for this Liverpool game much stronger because if we go and play the way we played Atlanta first half, we're going to get thrashed. Uh, <laughs> Salah could arguably easily get a hat-trick if we play the way we played first half against Atlanta. He can easily get a hat-trick. We have to be solid on the back foot. The centre-halves have to be alert. And we've had problems with set pieces. Uh, Maguire, I think he's going to play Lindelof because Varane is still out uh, on a groin injury. But uh, Maguire and Lindelof have to be solid on the set pieces and try and really, really be more solid. And we have to be organised against a very, very, very good Liverpool team that is going to cause us problems. But we hope to get the winner. Yeah. George, are you worried about your defence? Because last week against Leicester, you conceded four. <laughs> you conceded two in midweek against Atalanta. If I'm a defender like Eric Bailly, I'm sitting there thinking, how have I not been given an opportunity yet? Varane's injured, obviously, he struggled defensively. So do you think he'll make changes? And another quick one I'll throw in on you as well is in midfield. Do you think he'll play Fred and McTominay or do you think he'll play one of them with Paul Pogba? Um... First of all, starting with the, the defence, I have to say uh, Eric Bale is a very, very good centre-half and he should be starting sometimes. Now, uh, th there are so many games coming in. We play, we play European games midweek and then we have the, the league games over the weekend. Eric Bale should be, should be coming in, but I don't know why Ole doesn't fancy him. Ole just doesn't fancy him, but uh, obviously Victor Lindo should be rested and maybe Eric Bale should play with Maguire at centre-half. Yeah. Uh, Eric Bailey should also be starting, for sure, because uh, he's a very, very good centre-half, I have to say. George, thank you so much for coming on Fan Zone today, and good luck for Manchester United in that massive game against Liverpool this weekend. Right, should we get the Liverpool perspective now? Because Christian from Ghana joins us. Oh, I like what you're wearing, Christian. Welcome to the show today. And um, We've heard the Man United fan thinking they're going to win, but surely you must be going into this game full of confidence and thinking you can go to Old Trafford and win. Wow, when you look at these two teams on form, on paper, you say that Liverpool have the best opportunity to win this match. But, I mean, this is still Manchester United. And United versus Liverpool will always be a, a, a tough match for us, despite what whether United is on form or not, definitely. I mean, the rivalry is still there, so don't get, it won't get it easy. It will definitely... So I think we have to just go there and continue what we've been at um, Wanda Musopolitano and see how, how far we can go with that. Um, I mentioned earlier, we can have a look at it now, I mentioned earlier about Jurgen Klopp's record going to Old Trafford and Clinton said he was quite um, surprised by it. Um, he's only won once in the Premier League, uh, which was of course the most recent time travelling there last season. Are you surprised by that, that Jurgen Klopp <coughs> doesn't tend to go to Manchester United and Old Trafford and, and get a win? Yeah, I'm a bit surprised, but last season I'm not surprised because I mean, last season we needed the three points in order to qualify for Champions League, so it was we were, we were very desperate for it, and at the big moment Salah and Cruz stood up for us and we were able to get the three points. And what about Mo Salah? Because he is on top form right now, arguably the best player in the world is Mo Salah. So wh what do you think is going to happen? Can he cause Manchester United all sorts of problems going down that right hand side? Of course, who, who knows? Definitely, look at what he did against Atletico at the Wanda Metropolitano. Very brilliant, scored two, and he's still on fire. Look at the goal he did against the Jets, look at it. It's ridiculous. Ruben Diaz on the floor, Laporte on the floor. And <laughs> I don't think Maguire can stand against Salah. 
It's not just it's not, Clinton. It's not just the Mo Salah goals. It's it's the it's the type of goals he's scoring because we've seen him score all sorts. But you know, have we ever seen him score two goals like that in you know games that are very very close together? No, you, but you get in a, in a run of games and you you feel confident in yourself. And at this precise moment, Mo Salah probably believes every time he goes onto that pitch, he's going to put a big performance in. And he's going to score goals. That's that goal against Watford's brilliant. Craig Catcart slides in. He's probably still sliding now. It's a great, <laughs> it was a great bit of skill and he finished. It into yeah. the far corner. He, for me, he's the best player around at this precise moment. He's in fantastic form. I just hope Liverpool can sort his contract out at this precise moment. You give Mo Salah what he wants to stay at that football club. Which one was better? Watford or, or Man City? No, Man City. Man City. You know why he's playing against better defenders? Yeah. That's not being disrespectful to the Watford defenders. Yeah. He's doing it against Laporte and the likes of Ruben Diaz. Mm. So I'd say the Man City goal was better. Christian, which, which Mo Salah goal did you prefer? Did you prefer the one against Man City or the one against Watford? Both brilliant. As always, the one against my city. I've been saying that. Look, Rumi Diaz is not an easy defender, and to put you said with Christian earlier, Man United have got some real issues at the back. They have got issues, and if you don't sort those issues out at the back, you will struggle. The likes of Harry Maguire is just coming back um, to fitness. He could be struggling on the turn, but Luke Shaw, I think, has to play a big part. He has to try and contain Salah. He loves going forward, but he has to defend because Salah won't track him back. He'll cheat in kind of little areas and play on the counter attack. But that front three can cause anyone problems. I'm just, I just don't know if he'll play Diego Jota or Firmino, but for me, I'd play Firmino because that. Would front you? Yeah, because... But what about pace going up against yeah, Man United's attack with no Varane, yeah. who is the quick one. I get that, but what Firmino does is he can drop into little holes where Harry Maguire and Lindelof don't want to come. He, he takes out the defenders, and then you have Salah and Mane spinning in behind. <laughs> so they, they can cause problems. That's why I would be... To, I, I don't think it will happen, but that's why if I'm Man United, I play Eric Bailly for his pace, because yeah. that front three will cause but that But he's problem. always got a mistake in him. Yeah, can definitely. you can you afford to play a player that you just don't know whether he's going to make such a big mistake in such a big game? Yeah, it's a, I know what you're saying. He has got a mistake in him, and you, but you know what? They're struggling at the moment, so they need to go and play yeah. as centre. They need to play um, him as at centre half. To be fair, if you have Varane, it's Varane and Harry Maguire that play, and them two are brilliant together. But there's no, there's going to be no wrath Varane exactly. for Manchester United. Christian, does it matter which defenders Man United play at all? Because <laughs> your front three there in Roberto Firmino, Sadio Mane, and Mo Salah are just in such breathtaking form. All three of them. Of course, it matters. Look, when I saw the Manchester United lineup last week against um, Leicester, I saw Maguire start, and I just said, no, this defense got to be a must. Maguire just came back from injury, and look at how he was. He was very slow in reaction, in reaction, and. He was very lucky that he couldn't take advantage of all the mistakes he made. So I Chris think if Salah is going to take all the chances uh, this weekend, it's going to be very deadly for them. Perfect. Christian, thank you so much for coming on on the show today. It's good to get different fans' perspectives yeah. on, on that massive game.